I'm free I'm free falling Hey everybody, Aaron here. I've got another one for you. This one, we're going to learn four songs using only three chords. Let's jump right in. To keep it simple, we're going to keep this in the key of C, which means all white notes. The chords we are going to do are C, F, and G. Let me show you how the chords work. Your right hand is going to be right here. This is middle C, right here, okay? Position your pinky, your right hand pinky, on middle C right there, and we're going to make a C chord. So E with our thumb, G with our index finger, and C with our pinky, okay? That's the C chord. We're gonna play F chord right here in root position, okay? So thumb on F, middle finger on A, and pinky on C. When we go from F to G, we're gonna slide right up like this, so G, B, D, okay? And then there will be times though where we go C to G, and when we do that, we're gonna use a different G chord. So we're gonna to go to this G chord right here, okay? Which will be D on our thumb, G in our index finger, and then the B with our ring finger, okay? So those are the different finger patterns and chord uh, voicings and arrangements we're gonna do. Now just so you know, quick theory for you, okay? This is in the key of C. These three chords are known as the one chord, the four chord, and the five chord. So this is the one chord, the C chord, chord because it is the first scale degree in C. This is called the four chord because it is one, two, three, four notes. The F is the fourth note of the C scale, so we call this the four chord. And you guessed it, this is called the five chord because it is on the one, two, three, four, fifth scale degree of the C scale. Okay, so one, four, and five. All right, so let's look at some of the songs we're going to do. First one we're gonna do is an old one by Roger Miller. It is King of the Road. So it's gonna sound like this. Trailers for sale or rent. Rooms to lend for 50 cents. No phone, no pool, no pets. I ain't got no cigarettes, ah, but two hours of a pushing broom buys an eight by 12 four bedroom. I'm a Man of means by no means, king of the road. Beautiful song. All of the charts are going to be available for you. Check the links in the descriptions, okay? Now, let's talk about a rhythm we can do with this song, all right? Notice the chord progression. It does say a G7. When you get here, if you want to do a G7, just drop that G down to the F, all right? Forgot to mention left hand also is just going to play the name of the chord. If you want to spice this one up a little bit, you can outline the C chord, the F chord, and the G chord in your left hand like this. So, trailers for sale or rent, rooms to lend for 50 cents, no phone, no pool, no pets, I ain't got no cigarettes, ah, but two hours of a pushing broom buys an Eight by twelve, four bedroom. I'm a man of means, by no means, king of the road. All right, so notice what I was doing there. I'm playing the chord on the two and the four of the one, two, three, four, and then I'm just rocking my hand like this. So I re-emphasize that lower note when I hit it. All right, go ahead and give that a try for King of the Road. The next song sounds a lot like it. This one is La Bamba. For La Bamba, same chord progression essentially, but we're only going to play uh, two beats on the C and the F and four beats on the G. It sounds like this. Two, three, four, one, 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 two, three like that. Ba, 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 la, la Bamba. Let's talk about a rhythm you can do with that one, and it's all in the right hand. It's also the same thing rocking top to bottom. Sit 
te la una poca ringrazia una poca ringrazia para mi para ti ya viva ya viva you may have noticed that song sounds an awfully lot like Twist and Shout by the Beatles. That's the next one. Same chord progression. Well, shake it up, baby, now. Shake it up, baby. Twist and shout. Twist and shout. Come on and twist a little closer now. Come on and work it on out. Well, I'll work it on now, now. Same chord progression throughout the whole song. That is three for you right there. One more, Free Fallen. This one's a little slower, and this is when we're going to go from the C to the G, okay? So this fourth song is going to have this chord progression, C to the F, back to the C, and to the G, okay? Two beats on each chord. Two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. You move a little early, you're actually moving on the end of two. Two and three, four, one, two and three, four, one, two and three, four, one, two and three, four. And if you want to, you can add, uh, you see in the chart there, it says sus two and G sus four. So what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna not move your finger from the last one. So when we go to from the C to the F, we're gonna leave these top two fingers here and we're gonna go to our F here. That G makes the sus two or what you might call um, add two. It says sus two because you don't play the A, okay? So you play the G instead, okay? So you're playing the two instead of the three, basically. And then you go back to the C, and then when you go to the G, you lower the bottom two, and you leave this pinky up here on the C. Okay, that's sus four. You are taking the B that should be in the chord, and you're instead substituting that C up there at the top, okay? So it's like this. When you sing it, it sounds like this. She's a good girl. Loves her mama, loves Jesus, and America too. She's a good girl, crazy about Elvis, loves horses, and a boyfriend too. And then if you jump into the chorus, it's like this. Now I'm free, I'm free falling, yeah I'm free. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take a minute right now, jump over to Amazon, check out my book, A Piano Chord Book, you can actually use where you can get all of this information and more help you learn how to play the piano. God bless you, and we'll see you next time.